I just watched the video of you the other day from way back when. Funny. His infield throws have been the best. That's why I put him in short and skin ground balls. Totally. I can get I bet, yeah. And they're just loose and he doesn't have to think about his slot. I try if you you're a guy you play short. Oh my god. I used to. Okay, watch this. I want you to try one throw for me, right? Where you just put it in your mind. And you're at the college world tomorrow. Can I do it tomorrow? Yeah. You know he's going to swing and miss if he exits. And I want you to let yourself, looser guys like you, to do better when they move fast. I want you to let yourself like move fast. Move fast. Have some intention behind it and see what happens. Be a short stop on the mound. Yeah, way closer, bro. Way closer. Fast. You're getting out Ooh. here. This is holding yeah, deeper, really longer. Fast. The finish was totally good. Do that again. Do that again. 100%. The chicken's from there. It kind of makes my herbs taste weird. You got to throw it harder sooner. Paul, you see how slow he is on the back end? Yeah, that's exactly the same kind like of thing. To control it. It's like he's trying to control it. You got to stay in rhythm, baby. It's a dance. It's not about positions. You're trying to get to a position. It's about transitions. Just keep going. Do it again. Come on. Yo. Fuck yeah. Do it again. Now it all happened. Let's go. Just like really pimping. Really pimping. I just a little bit. I love it. Big one. Closer, one more. Let's go one more each, we'll pick them. What year are you? I'm gonna be a senior. You know, uh, okay. So, you know Billy Carlson? Yeah. Seth Fernandez? Yep. D Moss? Yeah. I've been training all three of those guys since they were like 10. Yeah, uh, they're pretty Did good. You notice how Billy started throwing 98 this year? Yeah. 92 to 98, a little six mile an hour bumpity bump over the winter. to the training and what builds them up. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Go good. Okay. Or are you done? Uh, 
So here's when the timing's off. This thing, you go in here, and it's fine when it has time to come out. When it doesn't have the time and you're not flowing through it, uh, it gets... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you, you, this isn't in place in time, so you have to yank out of the way to get it there, and that's when you get those. So if you control the drift forward better, it should, like this, this concept. Yeah. And let, let your back, you let your back go that way a little bit. And you can play with that. That might help the arm. Yeah. Mm. Which almost, the, which the best does when you there. when you hook it on that back side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd that feel? Yeah, so you, what you have to pay attention to is whether or not this is getting up. And here's a way to, okay. Here, you know how uh, some guys, when they hit, um, they try to like do this. You want that movement to happen, but it doesn't happen like like that. In yeah, that basically. way, and it, well, a lot of times, think of it like this, a lot of times you gotta go the opposite direction. If you want a guy to go this way well, and it's not going well, go this way late, and then all of a sudden, whack, then it just goes where it needs to because it becomes a reaction. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? The slack just has to get pulled out. It has no choice. It's like they're trying to do it doesn't work. All of a sudden you go here, whack, then it just goes where it needs to. The arm and the body are the same way. So sometimes, like, if you get here, now all of a sudden, like, it's going to flip up at it. Does that make sense? Goose I'm picturing yeah. as you do that. Totally. Totally. Uh, let's go last, miss, little miss last throw for you here, Camden. Last do throw you for you here, if you like it. Like, do you feel it? Yes. Oh, yeah. 